Okay, kids, um, this video is going to show you how to make the base for your LED light project or sign project. Um, I'm going to make a rectangular base, and I want my base to be um, a quarter of an inch uh, longer than my sign on each side. So my sign is eight inches long, so my base is going to be eight and a half inches long. And I'm going to start by using my rectangle tool to draw a rectangle. And I want to make sure I'm in inches up here. And let's see. I want to make my width is what Inkscape says, but I want you to think about it as your length. Um, eight and a half, oopsie, not 80, eight and a half inches and I want my height or in this in our case like the width um, of our sign to be three and a half inches and it's going to look really tiny here um, or well maybe not tiny but smaller because my sheet here uh, on my screen is set for 48 inches by 36 inches which is the size of our laser bed. So let me zoom in a little bit for you so everything doesn't look quite so tiny. So um, as the project description online says, our base is going to be made up of three layers of MDF. Well this is going to be what I've made right now is my first layer. And that's going to be the very bottom. And I don't need to cut anything into or out of my bottom. My the the bottom layer anyway the that layer is um, what will rest on the tabletop or shelf uh, where your sign lives so I've got that set now I am um, gonna need two more pieces of MDF two more layers exactly this size so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate one so I hit control D and it doesn't look like I did anything but I hit control D and it, it added a layer on top of the first layer I made. So it, it duplicated that layer. So there's my second uh, layer. And I'm going to go ahead and make this my top of my, uh, the base of the box. So it'll be the, the third layer. If the bottom is layer one, layer two is in the middle, and that will end up putting over here to the right. This is the third layer. And the third layer is going to have the main uh, outer rectangle, but then I'm going to cut two smaller rectangles into it. And the first rectangle is going to be for our 9-volt battery. And we want our rectangle to be slightly larger than our 9-volt battery. And our 9-volt battery is 1 inch wide, or in this case, 1-inch uh, height. And it is uh, just 2 inches uh, long, um, or again, in Inkscape's terms, it's it's two inches. But I need to leave a little extra room for the um, connector, the cap that'll go uh, from the LEDs to the battery, the nine volt battery, the terminals. So I'm going to make um, my rectangle that the the nine volt battery is going to rest in. I'm actually going to make it two and a quarter inches uh, long for us. Again, it's wide here. And I'm going to make it one and one eighth inch wide. And so um, one eighth of an inch, um, one eighth in, in, uh, when converted to decimal is uh, 0.125. And quarter uh, you might be a little bit more familiar with, but um, one quarter um, in decimal form is uh, 0.25. So got my dimension set there. I'm going to hit enter and there I have my lovely rectangle that's from my 9 volt battery. I need one more rectangle that is going to be where the sign, the acrylic sign actually sits down in this um, slot or rectangular groove, if you will. And my sign is 8 inches long, so I need it to be 8 inches. And my acrylic is a quarter of an inch thick. 
So I only need that that uh, gap there to be a quarter inch wide, or again 0.25. So I hit enter, and I've got it. I've got it there. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to back my sign up just a little bit, not quite in the middle, because I want to leave space for this battery and everything to sit behind it. Uh, but I do want to center it um, uh, lengthwise. So as you can see, I've I've selected my rectangular groove. Now I'm going to hit shift, press shift, and then I'm going to click on the outer rectangle. And you can see that those dotted lines showed up and uh, I have them both um, selected. And I'm going to center, um, not on the vertical. Well, actually it is for us. I'm going to center, and wow, I nailed it. I already had it centered here. Let me just show you. Let me move it just to show you. Um, oops, well, let me pull it down closer to where I want. Okay, so got that. Here, choose that, choose that, and now center. And it it actually it scooted the whole thing. That's okay. Um, I'm going to scoot my rectangle back. As this works out, I'm actually going to select all of them. So I've selected the outer. I'm going to press shift select that inner skinny rectangle, and then I've selected the battery. And I'm going to go up here to Object, and Group, and now they've all become one thing. So I can move them any which way, and that actually allows me to bring them back over here and line them up a little bit uh, with my first rectangle. And the reason I want to line them all up nice and neat is that it actually um, makes better use of all our resources um, in terms of the, the MDF when we cut them on the laser if they're all lined up. So the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to duplicate the third layer. And I'm doing that because I want to make sure that this long rectangular groove um, stays in the same location. So if I, if I duplicate um, the, the first rectangle I made, the, very, the bottom layer of our base, um, I'd have to place this uh, groove in space again, and then it might not quite line up for me. So going to select this particular layer. Again, I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate, and I'm going to drag the rectangle over here next next to the top layer. So again, or excuse me, the bottom layer. So I have bottom layer, middle layer, um, top layer. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to now um, ungroup my objects, and I am going to delete the, the cutout for the 9 volt battery because we don't need it. And I'm going to now choose my rectangle here. Now, the LEDs, the strip of LED lights, is actually slightly wider than the acrylic. And so to make room for it, um, so it will sit, sit down uh, nice and neat, the, we're actually going to taper glue the LED strip to the bottom layer. This uh, layer will go around the LED, and then this layer goes on the top. Um, I need my rectangle here to be slightly wider and slightly longer. So once I've selected it, I get the, I'm able to change the dimensions for that particular rectangle again if I click on my rectangle and square tool over here on the left. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust my width, and I'm going to make it slightly wider than a third of an inch. And so you can see that um, the rectangle didn't move, but it did make itself slightly wider. And then I'm going to go up here, and I need, um, in this case, I want my middle layer, I want this uh, rectangle to actually make, if you can imagine it, a U-shape. Um, and the reason for that is, again, our LED lights are, are down on this bottom layer. This layer is going to go around the LED lights, kind of wrap around it. And I want the cords from the LED lights that are, gonna, are going to attach to the battery to be able to just come out this particular end here and then attach to the battery, which is part of the top layer. And if I don't, 
cut a groove, um, cut this U shape all the way to the edge here, then the only way to get my have my uh, wires come out um, of that middle layer so that it'll connect to my battery is to have them kind of smush between the layers, and that's not going to look very nice. So I'm going to lengthen my rectangle to eight and one quarter of an inch. And as you can see now, let me turn it off, um, this uh, rectangle now comes right up to the edge of my larger rectangle. And what the laser cutter will do with that, it's going to, the laser's going to read and cut all of these lines. And so the laser's going to cut right down this edge. It's going to cut around this rectangle. And so I'm going to end up with a gap. It's not going to be, there's not going to be any wood here like there would be right in on this uh, top layer and uh, on each side. So I, I uh, hope that's been helpful. What I highly recommend is that you go back now um, and as you watch the video, as I do it um, on the screen here, is you, you do it in real time on your laptop. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have fun and good luck.